going on everybody it's Kelly and uh, I want to talk about the series of I've been watching called Knights of Sidonia it's an anime it's a Netflix exclusive and it takes place in the far future uh, where humanity has spread up throughout the stars because earth was destroyed and there are a bunch of seed chips out there but it particularly follows one seed chip called Sidonia now I'm not going to actually tell you about the anime, but why I'm, well, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the anime, but what I'm going to talk to you about is the mechanics of the humans on this, on this uh, seed ship. What they did was pretty amazing. I like the idea of what they did. So basically what it was, was 600 years ago, they were attacked by the creatures that destroyed Earth, and they managed to fend it off, but and when that happened, they... <laughs> lost a big food processing plant so they had no, not much food and they lost a lot of people they sat down and they decided to start genetically engineering the humans the next generation to be asexual until they chose what sex they wanted to be I guess that wouldn't be asexual that would be hermaphroditic there we go hermaphroditic until they chose what sex they wanted to be and how they ate was they would eat real food once a week and otherwise they would eat by photosynthesis, photosynthesis uh, you know, lay in the, in the sunlight and they would get their, you know, create their own nutrients from water and stuff like that from the stuff around them. And that's actually pretty freaking awesome. The idea of that is pretty fantastic you know creating uh, food from sunlight or from light itself and I like that idea it's, it's pretty neat I mean what they have going on here is a pretty cool idea of what humanity could evolve, evolve into eventually I mean you know it, we wouldn't be God's kids and children anymore I mean we would technically be God's children but we would have been forcibly genetically evolved to survive for a particular situation. And honestly, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> I hate this. I mean, I really hate to say this, but think about it. If we could start genetically engineering our next like couple generations to where they only need to eat once a week and they can get the majority of their food from the sun nutrients and everything they need from the sunlight think about how much world hunger problems we would solve in six generations think about how many other issues we would solve in six generations I mean uh, war over food would be pretty much gone because we wouldn't need it very much um, we would be really worried about keeping the atmosphere fucking clean because that would be our food source but even then, I mean, God, just no more starving kids, no more, no more world hunger. We would be, we would be fine. We would be fed by the sun. Now there's a boatload of problems with that, you know, and that goes into pol politics and religion and stuff like that. And I don't even want to think about that crap. I'm just talking about let's better mankind, and if we can better mankind. By one small thing like that, that would be fantastic, man. Everybody's body would be efficient with handling food and using it. I mean, you know, think about a little to no waste product and it's, <laughs> come on, you know, it's one of those things, you know, it's like, why aren't we doing this already? I know why we're not doing this, but, you know, but if you think about it, that, that would be a fantastic fucking thing to do for humanity. Fantastic. I don't know. What do you guys think of the concept? Uh, I want to know your opinions in the description, or not the description, in the comment section. And uh, thanks for watching.